Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm your favorite frugal introvert, Jerry. I get paid monthly, but I budget weekly and I'm learning how to both manage my money and how to make more of it. So what's up y'all, happy Saturday. I hope y'all are doing well today. In today's video, I'm gonna be closing out my February budget. I'm gonna be going over the last two weeks of February. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a cash unstuffing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this budget with me and I'll meet you over at my MacBook. Okay y'all, so I'm on my budget spreadsheet. I got this from a seller on Etsy called Shushko. I have it linked below in the description box. And I apologize in advance for the construction noises in the background. So we're essentially starting at the week of the 17th and we're going all the way through the end of February. So on the 17th, I got paid dividends from Apple. That was $2.07. On the 22nd, I got some Etsy income for $15.28. And then again on the 28th for $9.37. So that was the rest of the income that I got for the month. And as always, I appreciate you guys so much for purchasing things from my Etsy shop. I really do truly appreciate it. So now we're on the monthly overview page of the budget. So I just wanted to show you guys what my total income was for this month. It was $2,866.42. And if we go down here, we can actually see how it's broken down. So my paycheck was $2,744.40. I got an Etsy income of $56.14. Unfortunately, I didn't get a YouTube check for last month, but hopefully I'll get one for this month. I got $7.47 in dividends and $58.41 in interest income. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over all of the transactions that I made for last month. So I had quite a few purchases on the 17th, starting with eating out. I went to Subway and that was $12.20. I got gas and that was $19.08. I ate out again that day at Sonic for $5.21 and the miscellaneous items for $4.32. And then lastly, I went to the doctor and that was $158.18. This is highlighted in purple. So anything that you see that's highlighted in purple, that means I'm gonna be covering that expense with my sinking fund. This was a pretty busy day for me. This is a day that I had to travel out of town to visit my family because I had a death in the family. So yeah, that was really a pretty busy weekend for me, which is why I have so many transactions for this weekend. On the 18th, I bought more miscellaneous items for $6.66. I bought some flowers for my great aunt's funeral. That was $40. And then on the 19th, I ate out at Metal Mushroom for $17.50. I got Starbucks for $5. And I'm so mad at myself because I left my Starbucks gift card at home. I got my Starbucks gift card from Crystal over at Budget by the Bag. And I, I didn't think I was gonna go to Starbucks, but I ended up going and I got one of those, um, I don't know, it's like a really, really long name. It's like a strawberry acai lemonade, something, something, something. So that's what I got and that was $5. The 20th was a no spend day. The 21st, I got gas and that was $22.08. I also had to buy some prop money and that was $16.24. That's coming out of my business sinking fund. Um, going back onto the flowers, that's highlighted in purple. Honestly, I don't know where I'm gonna pull this money from. If I had a general gifts envelope, I would pull it from there. But because I don't, I really need to create a general gifts envelope. But because I don't, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is using some of the cash back rewards that I have from my credit card to pay for the flowers. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. Moving down to the 22nd, I ate out again at Chick-fil-A. I got that cauliflower sandwich. It was okay, I did like it, but I probably won't go back and get another one anytime soon, but that was $12.75. Let me know if you guys have tried that cauliflower sandwich. And then later on that evening, my friend wanted to go out because it was a um, national margarita day, I think it was. So we went to Chili's and that was $72.25. I did end up paying for both of our meals. She was having a pretty rough day. So I went ahead and just paid for her meal too. The 23rd was a no spend day. And then the 24th, I ate out again. <laughs> at this um, Japanese restaurant called Seasons of Tokyo. And that was $13.82. The 25th was a no-spend day. And then the 26th, I got some vitamins that's gonna come out of my medical sinking fund. That was $19.39. And then on the 27th, I paid, I finally did my taxes. <laughs> that was $370. And then the 28th was a no-spend day. Okay, so lastly on the transactions page, we're gonna go over my savings and my investments. So on the 20th, I did buy some stocks in my Robinhood account and I purchased $25 of Jeppy. The 21st is when I stuffed my savings challenges for $125. And then I also stuffed my sinking funds for $44. The 22nd was a no spend day in terms of savings and investments. But on the 23rd, I did buy $25 worth of Ethereum and Bitcoin and that's cryptocurrency for those of you who are unfamiliar with that. On the 26th, I stuffed my savings challenges again for $125 and then $85 for my sinking funds this time. 
and that was it for the rest of the month. My bad y'all, so I forgot two things. On the 28th, I did buy my crypto for $12.50 and then I bought my stocks for $12.50 and I'll insert clips of me actually investing that money. All right, so going back over to my monthly dashboard, my total savings was $1,254 for the month of February. And I'm super proud of myself for being able to save so much. And if we scroll down, we'll be able to see the savings summary here. $100 of that went to my emergency fund, $579 went to my sinking funds, and $575 went to my savings challenges. My total investments for the month of February were $400. $300 of that went to my Roth IRA, $50 of that went to stocks, and $50 of that went to cryptocurrency. So if you guys have been truly following me and truly paying attention, then you'll know that this number is actually wrong. So yes, I did invest $300 initially at the beginning of February. However, every week, whatever rollover money I had from my variable expenses, I was putting that into my Roth IRA as well. I did not list that on my transactions because honestly, it would have messed up my um, entire budget because it would have thought that I went severely over budget had I listed it as a transaction. So I just didn't list it as a transaction here. But in a sense, this number is inaccurate. I did actually end up investing $465. I ended up having $165 of extra rollover to invest in my Roth IRA. So since I invested an additional $165, I really invested $565 for the month of February, which is even better. All right, total expenses. $268.95 and I'm amazed at how little I was able to spend. Now, I will say that I was over in a couple of categories. Groceries, I only spent $74.87 of the $200 that I planned on spending. And honestly, that was because my partner, he is such a great person. He did a lot of the grocery shopping for the month of February. So um, that's why I really didn't have to spend that much. Gas, on the other hand, I did spend $69.29 out of the 60 that I budgeted. So I was over by 9.29 and that was because I had to go out of town. If I didn't have to go out of town, then I would have stayed under budget for that category. For eating out, I spent 78.66 when I only budgeted $60. Again, that's because I went out of town. For personal, I spent 17.49 and I budgeted $70. So I may wanna go back and actually rethink how much I need to budget each month for personal because I really don't seem to be spending that much on personal. So personal items for me would be skincare products, moisturizers, feminine hygiene products, um, body washes and soaps and things like that. Lastly, it's miscellaneous and I spent $28.64 and I budgeted $60. So if you scroll down to the bottom, I budgeted $450, but I only spent $268.95. As far as my bills, I spent $891 for the month. And looking at my bill summary, Everything was pretty much the same except for my rent. I planned on spending $590, but my rent was actually $586.85. And then lastly, I did put my $100 towards my student loans. So if we come over here, this shows me how much I actually spent and how much I have left to spend. So as you can see, I was over budget and I spent $47.53 more than what I actually had. I ended up spending $2,913.95. A couple of reasons as to why this happened. One of the reasons is because, of course, I went over budget in a couple of my variable expenses categories, like the gas and the eating out. Another reason is because of how much I was able to save this month. Typically, I budget everything out to the penny. So even with my savings challenges, all of my sinking funds, I know exactly how much I'm gonna put in there every single week, every single month. But I wanted to do something a little bit different this time and not focus too much on budgeting everything. So yes, there were some sinking funds that I did budget and I put the same amount in there every week. But as far as my savings challenges, I really didn't do a set budget for those. 
And I think that's kind of where I messed up. I kind of lost track a little bit of how much money I had left over to actually stuff for my savings challenges. So I'm gonna go over to my February weekly budgets page so you can see what I'm talking about. So for week one right here, my savings challenges, I did budget $125 and I kind of stuck with that throughout the month except for this week right here. I don't know what I was doing that week, but I budgeted $200 and that's how much I've stuffed. Week three, I budgeted 125, week four, 125. So for week two, had I stuck with that same $125 uh, that I did with the rest of the weeks, then I would have stayed under budget. I think I may continue doing it this way, but I'm gonna stick with the $125 each week that way I know I'm gonna stay under budget and not spend more than I actually have. All right, so I have a few notes for this month. So I did have seven no spend days, which is good, but I was hoping to have more. I did go over budget, which is not good. <laughs> and then the last thing is, I just need to stick with that $125 a week budget for my savings challenges. So I don't quite know how I feel yet about not allocating any money towards all of my sinking funds. Like I mentioned earlier, yes, there were a few that I always budgeted something for, but there are a lot of sinking funds that I have in here that did not get any love for the month. Like medical, um, I wasn't worried about stuffing Uncle Sam, but um, if we go here, YouTube, my envelope, fun, household, those didn't get anything for this month. And I was planning on stuffing them with, you know, my savings challenge money, but I wasn't able to finish a lot of savings challenges. I did finish three savings challenges this month, but I wasn't able to finish that many. So, you know, if it takes me a couple of months to get them done, then these sinking funds won't get stuffed for a few months. So I don't quite know how I feel about it just yet. I may end up going back to at least budgeting something, whether it's, you know, $30, $40, for some of these sinking funds, the ones that I really wanna get stuffed, like adding money to my household, adding some money to my personal envelope, adding some money to fun. I think I wanna do those. I'm most likely gonna start back stuffing some money in medical because I do have to pull out money for medical as well. So um, we'll see, I'm not, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. So yeah, with that being said, I am gonna go ahead and start unstuffing my sinking funds. So I am gonna unstuff medical and I'm gonna take out $192 from here. So right now I do have one, two, three, 20, 32. So 332 dollars. Now I don't have 192 dollars in prop bills in here, but I do have some change made already on the side. So once I take out 192 dollars, I should be left with 155 dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I have it written down here. So 155 dollars. So I have a 50 and a five. So I'm just gonna take all of this here out. And just stick it back there, 150 and five. Next is Uncle Sam, and I need to unstuff $370 from here. Again, I don't have $370 in here to take out, but I have my change over on the side. So once I take out the 370, I should be left with 338. So I have $130 that I'm gonna put in here. I'm gonna take out this 500. And let's see. I think I need to take out this 10, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 20, 30, 5, 37, 38. Yeah, 338, so that's good. All right, so we're gonna unstuff from my personal envelope and we're gonna take out $21. Again, I don't have 21 to take out, but if we take the 21 out, I should be left with $134. So I've got a 20, got a 10 and two twos, so that's 100, 20, 30, 32, 34. Okay, so fun, we're gonna take out everything. <laughs> yeah, so we're taking out $61 for fun. All right, so lastly is business, and we're gonna take out $75 from here. And I think I actually can take that out from here. Oops, that should be there. So yeah, let's do 50, 70, 72, 74, and 75. All right, so I should be left with one, two, 20, 40, 50, 52, so 252. All right, so I'm not really gonna count all this up because it would be kind of inaccurate. 
So yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really worry about doing that. I'm just putting the money in order. But yeah, that was it for this video. I really appreciate you guys being here and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss another upload. I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Stay safe, be blessed, and until next time, peace.